So for today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to assess range of motion of the knee. Now there's a couple different strategies for this. We can look at it actively, we can look at it passively, we can also look at it functionally. When we are dealing with a patient, uh, and perhaps best case scenario to look at all three of these at once is in a supine position, and so that's where we're going to start today. To look at it actively uh, to begin with, uh, depending upon the surface, you may ask an individual to remove their sock or you may create uh, an area that has less friction. Uh, for today, we're going to leave the sock on just so it slides a little bit easier on our treatment table. So to begin with, we're going to ask our patient to bring their heel back towards their bottom as far as they can. Note that some individuals will try to lift their foot and slide it back further, kind of using the leverage of the table. That would actually be beyond active range of motion. So wherever they get to, that's where you would want to stop. Holding onto a goniometer in your back pocket is a good strategy to allow you to quickly make that assessment. Our axis of rotation is the joint line of the knee. Our mobile arm is our fibular shaft looking at our lateral malleolus. And the midline of the thigh, in line of the femur, would be our stationary arm. And that would be active range of motion. Now at this point, our patient demonstrates 139 degrees of active knee flexion. We're going to have them extend down now, and if they can get to a zero degree point full extension, fantastic. Uh, some individual may have a little bit of extra uh, range of motion at extension. We would call that genu recurvatum. And one way to assess for that is to bring in a bolster as such, and you can actually slide it right underneath the distal thigh, and then have the individual extend the knee. Now, if you see that they go past a zero point, that would be considered then genuine recurvatum. You could take your measurement there. Same landmarks, have the individual then relax. At that point, you have one of two options. You can either record that as distinct measures of flexion and extension, or you can describe it as an arc of motion, such that they have from zero to 139 degrees right knee active range of motion. That would be the arc of motion, or you could describe it as flexion or extension. From here, you can put your goniometer away, we can slide our bolster out, and now you can move into your passive range of motion assessment. Now, you may choose to also take the goniometric uh, measurement, so you have that objectively, uh, but at this point, you can also just do kind of your end feel assessment as well. And so, for that, what that often looks like is you're going to provide a stabilizing force just at the distal thigh, 